in the interest of diversity of views, should, I should make the point, because I've been talking to them, there are a lot of people who agree with the likes of Jason Nakamanis with what he was saying there. The truth is that um, you know, if, if anyone who boos Adam Goods from today on, and this should have applied months ago, you know why you're booing him. You can't make excuses to why you're booing him because, because it, it's got a racial element. There's no argument about that. And yet you've got people who are, are saying, you know, this nonsense you heard from Jason Ackermanis who said today that I've had worse thrown at me. And some of these people are just using that girl now to run some, uh, what they might see as some, some sort of an agenda as part of the culture wars. I think it's disgraceful. Sophie, what do you think of the comments coming out uh, that we just heard there from Jason Akamatis, where he was suggesting that Adam Goods looks like a sook by uh, complaining? The only people labelling Goods a sook at this point in time seem to be old white men, with maybe the exception of Miranda Devine. And maybe we, we won't call, call Akamatis old, but he's definitely a white male. And look, it's a perfect illustration of the giant chasm that still exists between most sections of white Australia and Aboriginal Australia. By reasserting that booing, by reasserting the right to boo, we are saying over and over again, we're not listening, we don't understand, and most importantly, we don't care. I've actually been surprised at how many decent, very fine columns have been written about this issue. The Australian Today wrote one of the best editorials I think I've ever read calling on the booing to stop and explaining step by step why it was wrong and why the, rep the repetition of it showed that it was about racism. Uh, there have been some and there's very... another, a column written by Stan Grant exactly. uh, in The Guardian which is definitely which worth is a read. Excellent. Um, so I actually think this is a really fascinating test and the leadership here is being shown in some very interesting quarters. Mike Baird, for instance, uh, showing that leadership today that Tony Abbott's been silent on until today. But still hasn't said anything.